Well, it's 633 and now turning to your voice, your vote coverage this morning. A defiant President Joe Biden says he's all in despite a growing number of Democrats questioning the president's fitness for office. The fallout continuing following his poor debate performance with former President Trump. ABC's M1 reports. Ahead of President Biden's remarks today on the 75th anniversary of NATO, the president emphatically pushing back on growing skepticism about his re-election chances. The bottom line here is that we're not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. The first lady also trying to put to rest Democratic defections in Congress. Joe has made it clear that he's all in. <laughs> Her husband's outreach, more aggressive now, contacting donors and joining more national interviews, all to convince allies and supporters that he's still fit for office. In a virtual meeting with the Congressional Black Caucus, sources say the president vowed, quote, I'm not going to disappoint you, I promise you, notable as the president looks to shore up support among black voters. And while most Democrats are publicly supporting the president, some are signaling they want to see him prove he's worthy of four more years. Visitor logs show an expert in Parkinson's disease visited the White House eight times in just as many months, starting last summer. Has the president been treated for Parkinson's? No. Is he being treated for Parkinson's? No, he's not. Is he taking medication for Parkinson's? No. So those are the things that I can give you full-blown answers on. Meanwhile, the Republican Party is shifting its stance from advocating only for a national abortion ban to align with former President Trump's position of leaving the issue to the states. The party struggling to approve final language over late-term abortions and restrictions on IVF before the RNC next week. We have a very solid pro-life platform. We feel very, very solid about it. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.